Many of us globally are facing struggles as the COVID-19 virus suspends jobs, evokes fear, and leaves many in stress. My name is Adrian Sabo. Um, I'm 23. I'm homeless. I live in a homeless shelter. And this is how COVID-19 affected me. Adrian has lived in this shelter for about one year with his two step-siblings, stepfather, and his mother. With 10 families living collectively, his daily routine is affected severely when compared to our usual stay-at-home orders. Before the lockdown, we could eat whenever we want to and we could have multiple families in the kitchen or in the living room because it's connected. But now uh, you have to schedule yourself to eat and you have to wait for other people. And pretty much, if you don't schedule yourself, you have to wait for an opening when nobody's busy. And you have to eat quick so another family could go. Because, you know, there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's three times, uh, plus t times 10. So it's a lot of people. Scheduling breakfast, lunch, and dinner with 10 families in a single home forces all parties to have timed meals that are often rushed, but that's only where it begins. Yes. Um, whenever we go to the kitchen, um, if you're not eating, you have to wear a mask to, you know, or when you go outside to play, you have to wear a mask. Another thing that changes, we do get, um, they check our temperatures every day, twice a day. Yeah, and uh, they, don't, they don't turn on the AC either. It sucks. So it's really hot right now. I'm sweating a lot. We buy our own groceries. They do have donations. Um, we could take if we want it. Since there's so many families, there's like five fridges in the kitchen. And uh, it's separated into like a few parts. Like we could only have one shelf for, you know, one freezer space or whatever. And if you have extra food that doesn't fit in the fridge in the indoor, they have a garage where they have more, uh, they have a bigger uh, freezer. These new rules and regulations for the shelter has made the stay-at-home order for Adrian tougher than most. As time moves forward, the only thing he can do is wait and hope things get better. For Canyons News, I'm Marvin Alberto.